we'll go ahead and we are going to move right along. Topic number two, my man Nate bringing the notes. Yay, yay. <laughs> What's going on? And last week, if you guys oh, missed dude. it, he hit, he hit, uh, actually the first topic was possible destinations for JJ Watt. So he did it. He did it. He did it. He did on the bingo card. Did I have Hold on. Did I have Arizona on that list? No, I did not. <laughs> No, and you had like eleven teams, bro. Like you had like half the NFL on that list, and he's still <laughs> one of them. Look Arizona that. was not on that team. No, it was not. <laughs> so this week, for my uh, my notes, I mean, really, uh, the wide, wide receivers for the Baltimore Ravens out came out and made a statement about how they are unhappy about mm-hmm. the system that they're in. Um. Willie Sneed, Des Bryant, and Marquise Brown. Des Bryant came out and said that essentially he wants to play football for 10 more years. However, he said it would not be back with Baltimore, simply because he didn't fit the system. So Willie Sneed came out, and this was him, this was one of his tweets. And I quote, any wide receiver can be a true number one if they are in a system that allows them to be. What they do after that is mm. on him. A hundred. You give any receiver 100-plus targets, if they're worth a damn, they'll be considered a number one because they have plenty of opportunities to show it. If you're going to talk, speak facts, not name drop, okay? Mm. Then somebody responded to him and saying, no, a true number one is based off talent. Guys like Devontae, uh, Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, and even younger guys like A.J. Brown are true, are true number one wide receivers because of their talent. You are number one on the Ravens by default, not anyone that could be a true number one. So essentially, they're unhappy with the system that they're in. We all know Greg Roman, uh, we could all attest to this, what he did when he was his, when he was office coordinator of San Francisco with Colin Kaepernick. We can make a case in saying that his offense kind of he 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 romanized it. It wasn't he didn't make the offense better, he didn't make Colin Kaepernick better. Mm-hmm. You know, we're now we're kind of questioning what okay, has Lamar Jackson reached his peak in this system? And even the the question is, okay, why is it when you have Willie Sneed, Marquise Brown coming out publicly and talking about your office of coordinator? Okay. <laughs> now, right. I will say this. For Willie Sneed and Marquise Brown to be talking, first and foremost, Willie Sneed is not a number one wide receiver. He was never a number one wide receiver, not when he was with the Saints. He was really a legit number two, number three. Marquise Brown is not a number one wide receiver. Marquise Brown is a legit number two, number three wide receiver. Baltimore, historically, yes. With the exception of Torrey Smith and Quan Bowden, Baltimore has failed to really develop a wide receiver. Now, one, I think it's also, two, scouting. When you look at Baltimore, this past season, I I'm, I'm, the numbers of, I believe the number of passes dropped, Willie Sneed, Marquise Brown, Miles Boykin, with 7.5% of Lamar Jackson's passes were dropped by those guys. And that's not even including Mark Andrews. Wow. So. For them to come out and, and, and uh, to, to make these comments, I think it shows that there, there, is, that there there's some problems with Baltimore right now with coaching. And John Harbaugh needs to really get it together and figure out what he's going to do. I think this is Greg Roman's this upcoming season is his last year to really get this offense developed. Because yeah. we all know that offense, it, it's – at this point, we know what they're going to do. It's it's a, it's the pistol formation, play action. You know, um, it, it, it's just so obvious to teams. And right. Greg Roman has got to. They have to develop a passing scheme. It, it, look, a lot of when the playoffs come, the the, the 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 game slows down, but a passing scheme must be developed for the Baltimore Ravens. If not, Baltimore's window, in my opinion, of a championship is going to close very quickly. Hmm. 
And that could potentially have a guy like Lamar Jackson unhappy. Okay. Right, um, right. So I just want to know, get your guys' takes on that. How do you feel uh, with, I mean, you know, me when I'm Willie Steed and Marquise Brown coming out? What do you think Baltimore needs to do? Hmm. I, mean, I, I got an opinion. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Nick. Go ahead, man. Stop, stop, stop crying is what I would tell <laughs> Willie Sneed and Marquise Brown. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You are professional athletes. You are paid to get on the field and catch the football. As <laughs> Nate has so duly noted in his notes, 7.5% of the passes dr of that he were dropped. Think yep. about that. That is a big number of drop passes over an entire 16-game season. Absolutely. So you want to sit up here, and I get that Lamar Jackson is a running quarterback. We all know that. The kid coming out of college was a <laughs> running quarterback. We all knew that. What was the big yeah. knock on Lamar Jackson? And the kid throw the ball down the field. Down the field. Right? That was one of the yeah. things. We knew yeah. Can he throw the ball? Well, guess what? You got some receivers who, again, you can argue all you want. Like you said, they're not top flight. They're not number one receivers. These no, are not. guys who came from, you know, who are good, maybe a slot receiver, a third down possession receiver, can get you four or five yards, whatever. But these right. guys are not speech they're farm burners they're going down the sideline for 60-yard bombs. They're just right. not. And you no. come out publicly and criticize your coordinator and blah, 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 and this is not the system for me, and this is – and you know, you know who should know better? Des Bryant. Mm. Of all the people to – Mm, anyone exactly. Who, if anyone should know better than to run your mouth about this kind of stuff, it's Des Bryant. So the fact that he decided <laughs> to throw his this hat in the guy. ring, Ms. yeah, like, well, that's what you say. Go, all right, this guy again, great. It's Mr. This Des guy. Bryant. So this guy, yeah, I, you know, well, yeah, I mean, come on. No, I know. I think my, um, you know, if you guys, yeah, go ahead, Delilah, because I. No, 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 I think no, you're not. No, no, yeah. I think the what I'm what I'm looking yeah. at now is not it's not the receivers per se, but now it's Lamar Jackson. And yeah. now now it's coming out, he's feeling a certain way, right? Because now you have another team whose quarterback is unhappy. But I don't know no, if it's because I was Lamar's not happy. I know what you're saying. Lamar's yeah. not happy. But yeah. For the it, players, it, yeah. Right. But still, it just mm -hmm. it just adds more to your team, is what I'm saying. More to the drama, yeah. right? And you know, it's like right. it, you know. But he hasn't spoken publicly about it. It's just more obviously the people he's talking to. They're saying the contract negotiations. You tell me you're a Baltimore fan, but apparently they stalled. They're not going. Uh, they well, I'm going to save that for my last he, word. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, well, that's all right. oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? Mark Andrews <laughs> catches the ball. Come on. If the tight end catches true. the ball, the receiver should be able to catch Very the ball. Because I'm sorry, every but, time I look up, Mark Andrews catches the ball. I'm just saying. All right. And and, and, and he is, he is, he is, their, he is their receiving core. He definitely is their receiving right. core for sure. Yeah. Um, but again, I think it goes back to what you said, Nick um, and Delilah. Like he, a he comes out as more of a more mobile quarterback. So that system and that time mm -hmm. when he came in. You're, he's coming right off he of was, that era of the mm -hmm. RG threes where they're running yes. the read option, yeah, right. RGO, yep. all this stuff. Exactly. In that yep. type of offense, you need an O line, you need yes. a running back, and you need Absolutely. a quarterback. Those right. receivers yeah. are accessories, and you need a tight end. They have all they're, they're yeah. built for their type of offense. If you want right. a big right. name guy of Michael Thomas and Allen Robinson, a Juju, eh, you're gonna have to put him, some extra money in him, which is gonna take money away from how your offense is run and like if this was original Dez from back when he was good with the Cowboys, Cowboys. he wouldn't have stayed. Right. He wouldn't have stood for that offense. He would have been slamming his helmet. I'm not getting the ball. Blah blah blah. Right, blah. right, so right. Part of, it, part of right. it for me. Yeah. Part of it for me, and I'm gonna give this right back to you, Nate. Part of it for me is that you know, in that type of offense, the there is somebody that's gonna take a hit, and it's gonna be the receivers. Now they got to catch the ball. I'll give them that, but yeah, they're gonna take a hit. But even but even with Willie before Willie Sneed was here before Lamar I think the year Lamar Jackson was drafted. Even with right. Joe Flacco as a quarterback, I remember <laughs> those first four games. Willie Sneed did not, was nothing to sneeze about. I'm not saying Willie Sneed 
It's not right. a, it's not a joke. He's a he's a he's a great he's a good wide receiver. But right. These comments, see, it to me, they need to be checked because I here, here here's a guy who's come in, who in my opinion took a team that was four and five. Morale was 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 basically depleted, in my opinion. They look like they were ready. They look like they were ready to go on can, to go to Cancun. Here's a right. guy who won six straight games in the AFC North title, and in the next year goes tw- goes fourteen and two. So you're winning. What are you complaining about? If anything, Lamar Jackson should be coming out and saying, "I, I need help." <laughs> Lamar Jackson didn't play. Uh, I, I know I'm, I don't want to keep too long on this, but no, you're fine. Lamar, ja- Lamar Jackson when it, uh, against Tennessee in that in the first divisional round. Remember, let's understand he threw over 500 yards, right? And the majority of those, I think he threw almost like 60 passes. And the majority of those passes were what? Were drops. So what was the narrative? So Lamar Jackson had a bad game, or did Derrick Henry and the, and the Tennessee Titans? Run all over the Ravens' defense. What was the narrative? Lamar Jackson had a bad game. Instead of ignoring, ignoring, well, you had Willie Sneed, you had uh, Marquise Brown, Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, Hayden Hurst, even at the time, dropping passes. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right there. My next note: That's Alex false. Smith. Alex Smith today has been cut. From the Washington football team. Uh, This comes after Alex Smith getting NFL player comeback of the year, which was, in my opinion, well deserved. Um, Alex Smith was due to make $19 million this year. Uh, $14 million will be saved, and his debt cap was $23 million. So that puts Washington at $43.4 million total cap. Alex Smith, let, let's just I'll, I'll say it. I'm not surprised Washington would go in this direction. They've already resigned Taylor Heineke. Um, they seem to have their quarterback of the future. Um, I don't know where this narrative he came out and saying he felt like they didn't want him there. I don't think they – that sounds more like something Dan Snyder would say. That's something Ron Rivera would not say. I don't know where he got that from, um, but I just wanted to get you guys as opinion, your guys' opinions on what do you think about Alex Smith being cut from the Washington football team? I mean, I mean, I mean, Sean? let's start with it being a bit. Yeah, let's start with it being a business. <laughs> That's all a business decision. <laughs> all right. Let's start with it being a, a business decision because that's that's ultimately what it was in the long run. It was a business decision. Um, they, like you talked about with the cap, you know, so you're getting 14 off of that. So we needed to make room and Alex it's health issues. Now the comments, I believe them. I do believe them because R- riverboat Ron is very much a my guy type of coach. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? That's, that's the reason you bring in a Kyle Allen. That's the reason you have all this, uh, all this chatter about potentially bringing a Cam Newton to Washington because Ron Rivera wants his guys. And you got to remember Alex has been out for two years prior to this season. So right. before he was out, it was Jay Gruden. It was a whole nother coaching staff. And then now Alex is back, and all of a sudden they didn't know if he was going to come back. And then right. now it's a whole different coaching staff, a whole different set of guys. So I, I honestly think that it, in the, it was the best for the team. I personally didn't – I hate it because I jumped, I was on the story. I loved it. He was the quarterback when we beat the Steelers. He was the guy that led us. He was five and one in out of six starts that he was in there. You know what I mean? Like, but I can't overlook the injury issues. And uh, and personally for him, I just want I just want you to go home, man. Kind of like Tiger. Like, look, you've had your success, you've had your great, you're you're making money. Go home, man. It's not worth you not being able to walk for the rest of your life or I or agree. to have a limp or hampered. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel. I agree. Oh, Nate, I did this. Go ahead. Would somebody say something? I'm sorry. No, there was a question. I'm trying to keep track of comments. But we can keep talking about we can talk about Alex Smith and then Nate can answer this question. Sure, sure. Because obviously it has to do with the Ravens. I don't know if you see the comments. I see it. 
Thank you, Devon. Uh, well, I think if you if you look at it, I mean, they. I don't think like like Sean said. They. I don't think they wanted Alex Smith there. He started every other quarterback, but until it he was did. time, you know what I mean. So kind of it was time to go. Well, I guess we got to go with Alex Smith now, don't we? You know, so but, that's the thing. Like, like you said, Ron Rivera is going to want to bring in his guy. That's that's true. We know that he's he always in Carolina. Been, he's going to do it here. He's always yeah. been that way. He's always yeah. been that kind of yeah. guy. Um, he is a very like he's a blunt guy. Okay, so I don't know what yeah. to tell you. So, uh, you know, he says things that people are like, "I he hurt my feelings." Trust me, he doesn't care. Like, <laughs> nope. That's, nope. who, that's who he is. That's how he right. always has been. Like, because it 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 did come off that Alex Smith felt a certain way. Because I guess Ron Rivera was yeah. interviewed, right? And you know there were some yeah. quotes, and and that's when he came out and said, "Oh, I don't think I was wanted there." I'm like, yeah, right. I'm like, it's not so much as that. I think it goes back to what Sean was saying. Munich is like, we didn't, they. I don't think Washington even knew you were gonna come back. Like, right. <laughs> you know, right. and, like they, they were not expecting you know, to all of a sudden be ready right, to play and, and go, okay, here we go. You know, and, and Ron was just being honest and just sharing his thoughts and, you know, what was going on and with the team. And, you know, and I sometimes look, everyone has feelings, right? Sometimes feelings right. get hurt. Like, you know, we're all human, right. but the yeah. riverboat, Ron, was, he, he's like that. He's like, listen, yes, I, yes. I, just, I just, like, he's like, I beat cancer. Like, I ain't, I don't got time to beat around the bush. Like, That's true. I don't got time to beat around the bush. And so, exactly. like, you know, uh, you know, to, to put it madly. Tyler Hunky, yeah. yeah. Right. Go ahead, I, I'm sorry. I, up, I, yeah. I, uh, no, no, I think, um, is Tyler Haneke the future or are they going to get a quarterback? I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't they're know. Gonna, they're going to get a quarterback. Yeah. They're yeah, going to get a quarterback. quarterback. They're just, yeah. they're just saving, they're saving money. And I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I can't, yeah. I can't get past the fact that this is a business, a business decision. It is. It's a business decision. It is. Like, there's, he's not, it is. there's nothing, nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. And that's, that's, that's the way I have to look at it because I do like him. I, do I know. Think we all do. We all right. do. Right. But, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and he, he has the right to say what he said, but they did what they did. There we right. go. We're good. That's it. We're yeah. good. There we go. <laughs> well, point. well well said. Well said. Um, should the Ravens try to go after a wide receiver from Alabama? I think it could be a, I think I'm not sure you're referring to Cameron referring to Devontae Smith. Again, I don't think Devontae Smith is going to be there. I think probably right after the 10th pick, he might be gone. Now, um, whatever happens with Orlando Brown Jr. I do know Orlando Brown Jr. is going to be worth a first round pick and another pick. So whatever he they're going to get, we're going to see what they can get. I think um, there's a couple of receivers that Baltimore could be linked to drafting, but Devontae Smith's not one of them. My last, my last note uh, is Isaiah Wilson. Isaiah Wilson is an offensive lineman from the Tennessee Titans. I, I did a YouTube video on this yesterday, and uh, mm -hmm. I shared it in the group. And uh, Isaiah Wilson tweeted out that he's done with the Tennessee Titans, no further comments, and then deletes the, <laughs> the tweet later. Uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> this is a, a he, last year was drafted 29th overall by the Titans. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, can't find himself, can just finds himself in trouble. Um, he was at Tennessee State University at an off-campus party, um, drunk, wanted to jump off a second-floor balcony, um, and then DUI in September. So he, he's, only, he's only played in four games. The majority of the season, he's been on the non-injury football list. And when you have the GM come out and essentially say, well, Isaiah, is, I'm basically paraphrasing, but he said Isaiah has to figure out what he, if he wants to play football or not. Because we have guys here on this team that we expect to carry themselves to play and act professional. And he also said in those comments, the guy that we scouted at the combine is not the guy we drafted. Right, <laughs> so, right. <laughs> um, I, I I think that the one and, and I kind of said and I said this one in a, a, in a video I did about Dwayne Haskins. I, I don't understand today's athletes, when, particularly when they come in, they act like they're entitled. 
they can do whatever they want. You don't want to put, not all of them, this is some. Some of them, they don't want to put the work in. They feel as though once they got the money, I'm good. Dwayne Haskins, no disrespect, Sean. That's last year. He, he was horrible. Right. You know, he when you have a guy who's been, who, who's obviously, he's at a strip club or he's trying to invite family and friends to the team hotel, which is <laughs> against the policies of the NFL. The NFL is telling these, these teams are telling these guys, look, please don't do these type of things, particularly in the midst of a pandemic. Right. But you have guys who are going, I could do whatever the hell I want. Who are them to tell me what I can and can't do? Well, last right. time I checked, they're cutting your check. Right. right. So <laughs> I, I don't think these guys get it. I, I think, you know, especially I, I thought it, it, it was kind of, he had, the Haskins had balls to, after playing against Carolina, getting benched. And then leave this, and then leave the stadium afterwards without even speaking to the press. Like that's not cool. And if you were a teammate or a coach, you'd be pissed. So I, my, I just want to get you guys' opinions on this. What do you think um, with the Tennessee Titans? You know, should he even drafted this guy, Nick? You could probably even um, agree to this. There's probably there were probably five offensive linemen that the Tennessee Titans could have drafted ahead of Isaiah Wilson. Because mm-hmm. those that, that tweet that he said, I don't mean to keep talking, but no no you're fine. And he, he, de- he deleted but it, but <laughs> he essentially said yeah, that he tweet is essentially, gone. That tweet essentially has shown that you can be replaceable. <laughs> you're right. easily replaceable really? in the in the in, in football. Yeah. Any any mistake you make, you're replaceable. What do you guys think? Well, I think it's a maturity yeah. issue. I think, you know, some, and this happens. You'll he's, see this a lot 22. in sports. He's 22. He's 22. Right. Remember, right. these kids come right. out of college. Some of them are 20, 21, 22. They've got all this money all of a sudden to go out and do things with. And, they, you know, they got a day off or they're bored one night. And they decide to go out right. and they call up their fellows from college. Guys, I can, let's go mm-hmm. hang out. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. And you get caught with something. You get caught doing something. And yeah. then it becomes, okay, well, you know, man, oh, man, man, you know, then the team gets on, and you're like, oh, man, this is a drag, the team, blah, 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 you know, you have to take responsibility for yourself. That's number one. Yeah. You're a professional now. You're not in college anymore. You know, not right. everybody's going to coddle to you just because you're number one pick or whatever. Like, <laughs> right. Is you have to carry yourself in a certain manner. And, yeah. you know, that's just the way it goes. So if you're, you know, I, it's here thing. Orlando Brown is young, right? So there, this is something that could easily be fixed. This is something that could easily. Same with Dwayne. He made a mistake. Hey, you get a second chance now. You're on another team. Take make the most of that opportunity. Same with then with Brown. If they decide that you know he says he doesn't want to play with Tennessee anymore, and they are uh, and they decide. I'm sorry, I, did, Isaiah I, did, Wilson, I, I was in. I was like, I was sorry. like Orlando Brown. <laughs> I was like, what? No, no sorry, I, I said it right. I was like, Isaiah Wilson, not Orlando Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Right, my bad. So, I thought you saw. I thought though, you, you, know, saw, you had breaking news. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, no, no. I wish I did. I, the siren would have went off behind me. You would have heard it. No, but, but you know, like, you know ahead, ahead, whatever, ahead. whatever happens here with Wilson, right? right. It's an oppor- It's a learning opportunity either way. Either yeah. Tennessee decides to sit him down, talk to him, and go, "Hey, look, man, here's the deal. This is what we expected of you." Like you said. You're not the guy. The guy we saw in the combine is not the guy we drafted. So right. I want to know where that guy is. I want to know where that guy's hunger to play the game and the passion you had for playing the game. I want to know where that is. None of this other BS. And if they feel like it's not getting through to him, then you let him go. And you go, okay, pal, we'll find somewhere for you to go. And then good luck to you. You know, what is it? What is the one line everybody gets? Good luck on your future endeavors. And that's yes. what you get. <laughs> because again, you, you as a team, you as they, a team uh, have a responsibility too to fill right. your locker room with guys who are gonna adhere to that stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, this um, is, you know, you really have to be. This is where the owner and the team and the management comes into play. Right. And no, you it's sit us. this it's kid us. down and you go, "Look, man, here's the deal," and you either take it or you don't. Right. And there you go. But that, yeah. that goes. I, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think. Uh, 
now, even though he deleted the tweet, right? It's like, but we know you can't, once it's out there, it's out there forever. It's out there. Uh, but, um, the but, but I guess now, since obviously now people are actually calling because he, you know, he went, even though he went like 29, he still went in the first round, right? So people are like, people are calling for him now because he's 22, you know? So apparently now the Bengals are fielding phone calls, you know, to see if they can get this kid. And, you know, there's a possibility that it could be like, you know, like Nick is saying, they come down and talk to him and say, hey, like, what's going on? Or like Nate said, they send him to another team, you know? Um, but sometimes there's certain certain systems are better at helping like these guys mature some are not you know so i'm not saying like it's possible that it could be a learning curve like if they send him to another team and you know i i don't know i mean it's pot it i don't know i i do think that we also forget that i remember how i was when i was like mm -hmm. between 18 and 21 and i didn't have money <laughs> right I and, so, and I had no money, I, you know, so I can't imagine what that is like to be 21 and all of a sudden all this money is just tossed at you. You don't have no, like, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're, you're in, a, you're in a world that you've never like been part of. You, have, you never had this much money because we have to remember a lot of these guys, we play sports because through scholarships, right? Because they want to better themselves. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we know like these guys don't come from a lot of money usually. And so all of a sudden you got like this blank check and not blank check, but you know, you got this big check coming in and you're like, Ooh, let's party. And it's like, and I think it does come down to maturity thing. Some guys are better at it, right? Some, some guys are better at adapting right away. Like they come into the system. They're like, nah, this is what I want to do. You know, like I'm going to take this serious. Then other guys take a little more handling or they don't learn their lessons and they're gone like johnny manziel who now has to go play like some bs new exactly. league that's coming up. <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's it i think that you hit the nail on the head I, I think you hit the nail on the head it's, it's the same oh. reason it's the same reason why somebody, sure somebody that's been poor if they mm -hmm. win the lottery, they normally don't keep that money. They normally run through it because you, if you have these guys, a lot of them are coming from these poorer neighborhoods mm -hmm. and have no <laughs> idea how to handle money, no idea how to handle all this attention, this fame, and and a lot of their, you know, past behaviors, you know, or, or, or stuff, a lot of it comes out. But the big thing in this all, the stuff that we've all seen, can wipe right. all of that away is exactly. their talent. Exactly. If you're good enough, if yeah. you can play the game, no, if you're a Tyreek like, Hill or a Joe Mixon. They'll ignore everything. They'll be like, all right, whatever. You know? <laughs> so it, it, maturity definitely, definitely plays a factor, yeah. but also what plays a factor is the, Your the situation that you're in. Yeah. You know, where you're at, because sometimes, you know, you're not in the best place. Sometimes no. you're in a place where they let you do all that nonsense and get away with it. You know what I mean? So. And, 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 all, and all you guys made great – Great points, but here's the thing: he was drafted to replace Jack Conklin. Right. The Tennessee Titans are not the Detroit Lions or the Tennessee or the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm. Last time I checked, Tennessee has been in the playoffs for the last what, two, two, three straight years. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Last time I checked, Ooh. and in the last few years, they are a no, no, no nonsense team led by Mike Mike Vrabel. So, I, I, I think. For here's a is a is a chance for you to not only replace a a viable piece of the offensive line, right. and here you come in, and you're kind of going, oh okay, I'm drafted, but I can still do whatever I want to do. It's like if I'm if I'm told that and Sean, we talked about it before the show. If I'm told I got to be at a job, this doesn't have to be with ads. This is with, it, it, anyone who works a nine to five. Right. If you're told you got to be at the job nine o'clock. And you want up in the office, it's 1130. And you haven't phoned anybody. Why? What's going on? People don't look at you like, why are you two hours and 30 minutes late? <laughs> right. right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I see and what it, you're saying. I see what you're saying. Even when, I, even when, I get even, it. Even when you look at a resume. <laughs> like Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah Wilson has a, has a great resume. He mm -hmm. has a degree. He has the experience. He has all that. 
But when you hire him, he's putting his heel on the desk. This is not the same guy that was at the interview who was giving us great answers. Right. All <laughs> and that's and, and that's all. And, and that was that's the point I'm, I'm you know just want to make because I just think that we yeah. have guys. And I think also too, I blame the NFL. They need to have a mentorship program. Yes, yes, for they these do. Guys I agree. In the league, I agree one hundred percent. How to you know one on one financing? Yeah, um, different things like that. That's I, what needs to happen. I actually agree with that one hundred percent. Like there has to be a transition team, like somebody that you know, like let's get these because that makes the most sense. You know, especially now in 2021, I mean, shouldn't there already be a mentor program to help these kids who are coming like in and, and especially, right. especially when, you know, they're coming from like schools that are like party schools, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so like, or cause that is what they were used to, right? They were the big guys on campus. They were always getting, you know, effed up when they were playing games and, you know, and they were allowed mm -hmm. to like. Mm -hmm. You know, they were giving free range of the campus. They really didn't have to come to class. If you fail one of those guys, God forbid, right? You could lose your job as a professor, right? Like, mm. let's, let's be honest, right? Because they really, like, they really coddle these guys, right? Because right. even though they don't get paid for all the money that the colleges are making off of these guys, which is another yeah. topic, but... Right, uh, definitely. Uh, Very true. But, you know, Very true. Uh, but, you know, I agree. I think a mentorship program, like, hey, put it all out there in the system. NFL, get yeah. some mentors for these guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> help, these Sean, kids, help these kids transition. Like, Sean, I, want, I want to make this last point. I know I, I talk, I'm like, I'm like full of Charles Barkley here. But my, my, this is my final point. There are guys <laughs> that literally work to put, the, to put blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Like <laughs> Isaiah Wilson. They don't get that opportunity right. to have their name called or shake the commissioner's right. hand. Right. Very true. And Isaiah Wilson is one of those very fortunate that most guys, that some guys that work that have worked maybe twice as three times harder, don't get that opportunity like Isaiah Wilson has. And I really hope that he gets his act together. I I, hope, I wish nothing but the best. Let me show. I, I, I do. Too. I do too. No, no, I, no, no. No, <laughs> no. Honestly, I wish him the best. I'm with Nate like, and Nick. I hope that, you know, that Tennessee actually gives him another chance. I think he deserves a second chance, to be honest, because yeah. it wasn't like, you know, uh, you know, he has some problems, but I hope that they give him a chance, that they actually talk to him and be like, look, at this is what we want from you. Like you said, right. that's not who we saw in the combine. Where did that guy go? And right. I do hope that they actually give him another chance before trading him. Like, I, I think that they should give him a chance and see, like, hey, if you put in the work, yeah, help the kids. <laughs> Hello, I'll help the kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they are kids. Like, it's, I'm sorry. When you're 21 and it's like, <laughs> Very true. you're working. But anyway. Anytime yeah, says so, help the kids. Yeah, that's what I was laughing. I was like, yeah, I mean, shoot, come on. Anyway, like, but it, that's my that's my final word on Nate. I agree. Like, let's hope you know. Let's get them in this. I hope that what what Nick said comes true. That they actually sit down and talk to him before like actually trading him to another team. I guess yeah. we'll see. We'll that's, see. My, that, that's my that those are my Nate notes, Sean. I apologize. I I, I didn't mean to pull a Charles Barkley, but I, I really had particularly with the Ravens. I, I had to get it off my chest. And Isaiah Wilson, goes, uh, I'm very really passionate when it comes to stuff like this. So yeah, I didn't mean to right. pull. I didn't mean to pull Charles <laughs> Barkley. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, yeah, all good, all good, no doubt, no doubt. All right now, all right now. So since it, um it, it's it is nine o'clock, I'm gonna pull it audible because I know my man's getting off work right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull him in, do this interview, and then we are gonna come back with diversity with Delilah and Nick's draft. So I'm going to take you guys out real quick. Get my no man problem. in here.